Okay, no more garbage and annoying accents. Here's two ways you can export your Java project. I will be using IntelliJ and JavaFX Maven, but this should work on your Java project just fine. The first method is to create an artifact. And to do that with a JavaFX project, you're going to need to make a fake main. Inside of your fake main, you're going to need to call your actual main method. Once you've done that, you need to go to File, Project Structure, Artifacts, create a jar from modules with dependencies. In your main class, you're going to select your fake main because we cannot directly call application. Okay, okay, apply, okay. Then you're going to need to build and build artifacts. In your output file, there should be a jar. This jar is an executable jar that should run when you have the same JDK Java installed. But this method has its own problems. If the manifest is not in the correct area, if you were uh, clever and noticed I had to move it to my resources otherwise it will not work because it will not detect the manifest and if you have dependencies for things like Java FX uh, it will not work because it will not want to bring the libraries with it that will be the second method but for a regular Java file, this should be what you need as a jar. If you want to test it out, uh, I'm going to make mine shorter. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it. RAR. If I want to test it out, it's not too difficult. I have to open in terminal Java jar rar.jar and it will run just fine. Now on to method two. For the second method, I'm going to be using a more complex project that uses dependencies. This is a calculator, but it uses a dependency that requires it to evaluate. And because I am using an artifact, it is a hit and miss process. Not every library tends to be brought in, especially third party libraries. So to get around the solution, you are going to need to make something known as a fat jar. And to do that, you will need your pom.xml. These are my dependencies. You will need another dependency known as the Maven Shade plugin. And in your plugins, you will need the Maven Shade plugin. They're here. Uh, you may need to change your main class to be your your fake main uh, and I will have a link to this project which is uploaded to github it's made by a friend of mine and me once you've changed your file you're going to need to uh, maven clean just because to run anything I usually just press control twice maven clean just to clean things up then maven install and maven install once it is done will gather all the libraries and package them into target into a jar called shaded at the very end this file is something that has every library and therefore it will run all of them and you will get the correct answer. And while we're here anyway, I might as well do the YouTuber thing. Yeah, remember to do that. It supports my channel and it makes me feel good about myself. Now to turn your executable jar file into an exe file that can run regardless of having Java installed or not, you're going to need the help of a third-party software called Launch4j because it will save you headaches. 
and you're going to need a file on your system. I have one named test. Inside, you're going to need a JRE file with a copy of your Java JDK in it. And you don't need to have this here, but I like to put my executable jar file in it just so it's closer and easier to find. Inside Launch4j, you're going to need to put a link to your jar. Mine is right here. Your output file, I put it in the same file because it needs to be in the same file as the JRE. And I will name it as And if you have an icon, you will need an ICO file. But if you have one, you can link that and the exe file will uh, take the appearance of that file. Once you have your icon file, you go to JRE and you will need to name this the same thing as the JRE in your file. Mine is just called JRE. There are other things you can do, but I'm not going to do them. Uh, when you are done, you press the gear. It will want to make a config. It doesn't matter. It will give you a warning that you should sign your executable to minimize the antivirus from going nuts. But that's a whole other topic and I don't know how to do it. And I'm pretty sure you need a license. But you will have your exe file and this will run so long as you have this JRE file in the same area with it. And it will have a nice little icon. 